So what you think? Looks good. It does. What's the big blue thing back there? That is. Is that actually, like a massive ironing board? No, actually, that's the um, that is Hope's collapsible green screen. And we use the term oh. collapsible in very loose terms. Because it folds in half. It does it. It's supposed to do this weird. All right. You twist it and you fold it like a number eight. You turn it look, look at number eight and then you collapse it on itself. Except it never quite works that way. And there's this, this video on YouTube showing this guy folding it up very simply and quickly and like making it look all easy. Except when we tried to do it. It leapt up and smacked hope in the mouth. And like oh. busted her fucking lip. So you need to send it to like obedience school. We have not tried to fold it the fuck up since we got the 14 foot U-Haul truck. And we said, like, fuck it. We are not fucking fuck it. Fuck I it. am having a backdrop built for my my show. Oh, backdrop. Who's doing this? The boyfriend. Oh, the, the, the same the same hero who saved disembodied orgasm hippo from the from the depths of silence. Yeah, you, you is, remind, gonna put together a little backdrop for me. Remind me to thank him for that. Mm. But so you won't have to see all this splendor behind me when I get my show off the ground. So we we've got um, all manner of nonsense tonight. Are you are you ready to indulge? Let's do it. All right. Get my intro up here. Sometime today, please. There we are. OK, if I can find the right button. All right. You know, if you've lost my audio, people, I haven't said anything in the last 30 seconds. Like, we can't hear terror. Well, I didn't say anything. There we go. There we go. Oops. Live, everybody. Stupid fucking thing. Fucking fuck. Fucking stupid fucking. Stupid. Oh, apparently they could hear Patsy Cline, but not you. You guys know the drill by now, right? I say the same thing every fucking Catherine day. goes out onto the Internet. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So you were a child of the 90s like I was. Mm -hmm. 80s ish, 90s ish. We were on the cusp together. And uh, you, you remember, of course, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, yeah. And it was always it was. You know, yeah. And I think I know where we're going. You remember the intro. In yeah, West, West Philadelphia, Philadelphia, born and raised on the playgrounds, where I spend most so of my white. days. We are so we should not be doing that. We are too white to be doing that. The line that I always get wrong: something, something, something. Max and Max and out, Rax, Max and relaxing out, Max. Yeah, yeah, I always. That's where I always fuck it up. Smack it up. It's like when you're a kid down. and you don't really know the. You can't get through the L M N O P part of the alphabet, yeah. so you just say M N M M M P. That's what I do with that part of that song. Well, um, and, and that song is one of the most innocuous things in the world. Or Pretty much all of Will Smith's songs are the most innocuous things in the world. Like, he makes a point of that. Except a student's outgoing voicemail message quoting the theme to The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air led to a school lockdown in Ambridge, Pennsylvania. Times Online in Beaver, Pennsylvania, explains what happened. A reception from a doctor's office called to remind student Travis Clausen about an upcoming appointment. Clausen didn't pick up, so the call went to voicemail. The receptionist heard what sounded like a threat about, quote, shooting and, quote, school on Clausen's outgoing message. If you shoot people outside of the school, the terrorists win. Apparently, the message was intended to quote a lyric from the Will Smith sitcom theme song that goes... And all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Of the school. It's unclear if the receptionist misheard Claus's message or if the student altered the lyrics. The reception no receptionist notified police, notified school officials, who instituted a lockdown on every school in the county. 
See, I know here's the problem. Here's the problem with Americans. We don't give a shit until we give all the shits and get really overreactionary, but in all the wrong ways. Like you have to take your shoes off at the airport. That isn't going to save anybody's life because some guy made a failed shoe bomb. Like we do all the wrong things. 111%. These go to 11. Please. But they don't hook up to our guitars. Like, we, we, we really get into it, but we do the stupidest things possible. We don't do anything that's actually going to work. We just do stupid things. We do the shit out of them. That's where we suck. It gets worse. Um, after 20 frantic minutes, authorities located Claus in the high school guidance counselor's office. Police took him into custody and interviewed him. It was then that Claus had explained his message, just a riff on the popular 90s sitcom about a young Philadelphia man who goes to live with his, quote, auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Right the time Can you even him. see poor Will Smith's face right now? Like, Will Smith is somewhere just like, I, I am the most, I am the safest rapper ever. Yeah, it's not like this is like public enemy. It's not like two live crew no. or some shit. It's Will Smith. <sighs> You know, it's not like fuck the police. It's it's, you know, oh. he, he's just sitting there going, man, first, I like, have to deal with that whip my hair shit. And now this like poor Will Smith is somewhere poor just Will like, Smith. I don't wh what what I, he like. He's so confused somewhere right now while he's counting his millions and swimming in uh, money like Scrooge McDuck. Shall we get back to something more normal for us? And that's a relative term, I know. Someone who locked the school down naked? Well, yeah, we it's naked. We've had a, a distinct lack of naked lately. Let's fix that. Police, naked man crashes vehicle in the Susquehanna River after high-speed chase. A man wanted for a carjacking in Maryland led police on a chase in York County Sunday morning, driving 90 miles per hour at times and trying to ram police twice then drove a stolen minivan into the Susquehanna River. When police arrived near the crashed vehicle, the man was, quote, standing on top of the car, naked, as the vehicle was submerging. All right. That is a beautiful image. A minivan. Look at his mugshot. He's all fucking blue steel in the mugshot. He's like, oh, hello, yeah. ladies. Oh, yeah. I can just see you, him. You want to go for a rafting trip down the Susquehanna on a minivan? Oh, man. I can just see him triumphantly standing above the minivan as it's descending. I don't know if it was so much triumphantly as I don't want to drown inside this. Well, that too. Yes. Death trap. So I'm going to stand on top of it. Chase originated in the Spring Springitsbury Township at 1015 a.m. was first reported as an erratic driver in a green minivan taxi cab. It crossed three jurisdictions. At one point, there were five police cars in pursuit. The vehicle, a green Plymouth Voyager, it's owned by Victory Cab Company, and been reported stolen earlier that day. Um, Raymond David, they have, what? They have minivan cabs. They have minivan cabs. I'm just. I don't think I've ever seen a mini. Maybe in the city, <laughs> like near the airport, I've seen minivan cabs. I'm sorry, I don't know why that stuck with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Goldsboro resident Adrian Inter Interiori, 24, said she was home watching television when a car, car sped by with several police vehicles behind it. I knew something was going on. It was crazy. Stuff like this doesn't happen around here. It was a minivan floating down the river with a naked guy on it, waving his underwear over his head. <laughs> oh. Was he wearing tidy whities Because maybe he was trying to surrender. <laughs> Maybe that's why he was naked. Maybe the only white flag of surrender he could find was his underwear. Although, if you're going to surrender, you should probably pull over. <laughs> I like this quote, though. I knew something was going on. Well, what tipped you off to that? The, the <laughs> string of police cars? Sherlock fucking Holmes? I knew something was going on. When the sirens were so loud, I couldn't hear Glenn Beck. When you're up on top of your car, 
say a minivan sinking into the river, waving your underwear over your head, you officially have given up attempting to give a fuck. You don't even know how to give a fuck anymore. You need you remedial even, giving a fuck 101. You might not even know where to get a fuck to give. I know. Like, you might need a fuck intervention of some type. Wouldn't that be the greatest intervention ever? Like, <laughs> Nash, we've all brought you together because we care about you. We love you, Nash. And we just feel like you just have no fucks left to give. So we would like to share some fucks with you. <sighs> Things you shouldn't say on the internet. No. Number 140. Um, this next one, you're going to be very angry. I already know you're, this is going to make you angry. Okay. We have gone over in extensive detail the whole bath salt thing. Yeah. And it seemed like finally they had made it illegal and it was dying you just sent down. Me the same link. Oh, no, you didn't send me the link yet. Never mind. We thought it had been made illegal. It was dying down. It was going away. And it's the bath salts are over. Except now they found something new. Oh. This comes to us from uh, Daily News. Um, and get out of the way. Get out of the way. You're blocking the uh, police restrained oh naked woman headline? carrying an infant swinging a hammer. Kelso police snatched a four month old baby from a hysterical naked woman who had been swinging a hammer early Sunday. 27 year old woman's father later said she may have been taking Kratom, a legal drug that comes from the leaves of a tree indigenous to Southeast Asia and can cause hallucinations. Police were called about 12.15 a.m. Sunday to the intersection of Division Street and Ross Avenue, where a naked woman was laying on the pavement and screaming. The man tried to give the woman a blanket, but she ran home. Officers knocked on the door and were greeted by a naked woman holding a four-month-old naked baby in one arm and the hammer in the other. Police said the woman was repeatedly swinging the hammer each time, shouting, Leave here, Jesus! I don't know if I should make a Thor joke or a Gandalf you shall not pass joke. I'm confused. It Stop it! People! Which... Are we just gonna have to every month find out? Apparently this is the drugs in the same category as bath salts and varieties of synthetic marijuana. But it's legal? Kratom remains legal, but drug enforcement officials are concerned about its use. Yeah, there was. Did you ever see that old episode of the X Files where there was all the there was a nursing home and uh, all the people, all the old people were like it was a lot of dementia patients mm -hmm. um, and they would really deteriorated. But there was this Asian orderly who was like crushing up herbs and stuff and giving them all the stuff that was making them better. And they were all like young again, except they could also like astrally project or no, it wasn't them. It was like they were angering the dead spirits in the place that started like killing people and all because of these herbs that this guy was giving everybody. That was like season two or season one or something. My point is don't take random herbs from places you don't understand. <laughs> because things will happen to you. The dead will come and get angry. You'll wind up naked with a baby and a hammer. If you're going to be doing drugs, and there's no stopping you. There really is. If you're dumb enough to do this shit, it can't stop you. But for God's sakes, put the baby down first. And then don't pick him back up. Don't lead, lead. Put the baby somewhere you can't reach. Put the baby on a high shelf. Where you can't get it without a step don't, ladder. No, don't put the baby on a high shelf. Are you insane? What, that won't work? Babies kind of roll over with no sense of they consequence. Do? Huh. My sister once was changing my nephew's diaper and he like rolled wrong and went backwards headfirst into his own diaper pail. 
You're fine, because the dirty diapers broke his fall. Oh. But yeah, you don't you don't put babies on high surfaces unrestrained because they are wiggly little fuckers. Or just, you know, maybe just don't get high around your baby. Don't, don't, just don't. Maybe that's the way to go. Like, just don't get high around your baby. Yeah. Okay. Get a babysitter and then get ripped. We've got one from Brooklyn here. Uh, Have you ever had an issue with your significant other so bad that you just had to get away Sure. You just you just needed space, time. You needed to get the fuck away. Yeah. This is probably not the best way to accomplish that. Brooklyn man fakes his own kidnapping to explain two week absence to girlfriend. Brooklyn man faked his own kidnapping because he was terrified of his lover's wrath. Ramal Petway, 36, told cops he spent two weeks away from his Bedford uh, home and then staged a crime to explain his absence from his girlfriend. But his poorly executed plan unraveled when cops found him hogtied in the street. Notice the roll of duct tape still dangling from his wrists. Eventually claimed Keen was arrested for filing a false reports. The, OK, this is a great quote. This is from one of the cops involved. Quote, he's a total moron. It was a pathetic attempt to pull wool over her eyes. His hands. How do you hog tie yourself? It's creative. His hands, legs, and mouth were covered in duct tape, and the rogue Romeo looked beaten up, complaining about pain in his ribs. Um, He initially couldn't recall what happened, but later told police two men in a light blue minivan abducted him on. I have a light blue minivan. Abducted him on February 19th near Brainbridge Street. He claimed his captors covered his eyes and hauled him to parts unknown. Authorities grew suspicious of the account, and Petty Ray soon confessed to the hoax, saying he had gone AWOL for a couple of weeks and was terrified of facing his significant other. Why did he go AWOL for a couple of weeks? It doesn't say. Maybe if you just disappear, if you won't go home for two weeks, maybe it's time to break up. I know, right? I'm just saying. Like, that's your home. But also, I really, really, really want to know how one hog ties oneself. I love the, the details you latch onto in these stories. You're not wondering that? The big picture escapes you, but you're like, how does one do that? You're not wondering that? I think that's the real question in this story. <laughs> the fuck do you hog tie yourself? Well, that doesn't seem possible. I guess you put your wrist together, you put a little tape on it, and then you sort of flip the roll over your arms. That's why it was still attached. To sort of flip it over. Hmm. What? You'll pay me to experiment on the air. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. And I have a rule of duct tape right there, but no. No. She could find worse things to do with that duct tape, man. Don't 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 go there. The last two tonight, I really don't know which is worse. Because they're just basically those moments where you're like, if you had it to do over, oh God, why wouldn't you? I, I think we'll start with this one. This is from the, uh, the Daily Telegraph from the UK. Drug man tried to have sex with an ambulance. 25-year-old drunken man tried to have sex with an ambulance. Uh, Callum Ward was seen, quote, pressing himself against the emergency vehicle before simulating a sex act on the bonnet. Initial police the bonnet? Show, the hood. of it's, it's Oh, bonnet. okay. Um, show an officer who saw him stated, it looked as though he was attempting to make love to the front of the ambulance. Ward was drunk and had taken cannabis and amphetamine and was, quote, in relatively high spirit. <laughs> yeah. The siren doesn't mean you're doing it well. <laughs> that doesn't mean the ambulance is getting off. Uh, I just, it, okay. 
There, that's a thing, though. There are people that like have sex with cars. But can't you just have sex with your own car? OK, chaotic in well, the channel. Obviously, he and his car had a fight and he was cheating on his car with that whore ambulance. And he's going to have to fake his own kidnapping soon. Chaotic's in the channel. Wee-hoo, wee-hoo, wee-hoo means no. <laughs> I, yeah. Why? Well, what's fucked up is at the end of the story, it mentions uh, Robert Stewart of uh, Air Scotland's place on the <laughs> sex Excuse offenders me. registry after being caught trying to have sex with a bicycle, which means potentially if you attempt to fuck an inanimate object in England, in Scotland at least, you can be. Well, I mean, if you do it in public, it could be public indecency anyway. Is that is that you fuck a bicycle? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just that question. The fact that how do you fuck a bicycle? The the thing you latch on. You fuck a bicycle. <laughs> the details. You just. How do you not want to know these things? <laughs> Are there people that don't want to know these things? These are fascinating questions. Of Here's the time. point. Here's you. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I think it's a good question. Oh. oh, yeah. Maybe you take off the seat and kind of. That seems painful. I don't think that thing is rounded. Okay. Jesus. Our final story tonight is you were talking about, I think we're bringing it all back around. You talk about Americans overreacting to little shit and the wrong way. This is definitely, and it's Florida. Oh God, it's Florida. It's okay. This is a trifecta. Florida, Walmart, and firearms. Oh, Three of my least favorite words in the English language. Coupon rejected. Walmart shopper pulled out a gun. Denied her dollar off. Woman Brandis of Smith and Wesson. March 4th. Or a dollar. Angered that a Walmart re employee refused to honor a dollar off coupon. A Florida woman allegedly retrieved a handgun from her car and waved the weapon at several store employees. Confrontation at Crawfordville store began Friday afternoon when Mary Frances Adlai, 61, sought to use an Internet coupon. Adlai became extremely upset when a Walmart assistant manager, Tracy Stockslanger, uh, told her the retailer's policy not to accept such online coupons. After having her coupon bid rejected, Adlai allegedly called Stocksinger a bitch and other foul names and intentionally struck the worker with her shopping cart. As Adelaide was escorted out of the store, she reportedly warned uh, Stockslager 48 not to follow her. The Walmart worker replied that, quote, she was going to get her vehicle license plate number. Adelaide warned, if you follow me, I have something in my car for you. As several Walmart employees watched from the store's entrance, Adelaide appeared outside her car, quote, waving the gun in the holster. Uh, the weapon, a loaded Smith & Wesson 38 Special, uh, she then pointed it at the store employees and stated, quote, I have something for y'all. The Walmart workers retreated back into the building due to being in fear for their lives. You know what costs more than a dollar? Fail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would say a defense attorney, but if you can't afford it, they'll give you one. I, but, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm about to say it and I'm going to everyone's going to groan, but I've got to I've have to say it. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Seriously, oh, a, dollar. a dollar. You can barely even buy anything for a dollar anymore. Even the shit on the McDonald's dollar menu costs more than a dollar now. I know, man. Was she you like fuck all with a dollar? Was she did she really, 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 really want to get that soda outside the Walmart and just hadn't budgeted enough? Doesn't matter. It's a buck twenty five. That's oh, true. Yeah. I, <sighs> was it like you disrespecting me? You won't take my dollar. Really? I, you, oh, the coupon. I mean, we have people get belligerent over coupons. 
like we we have people come in with things that specifically say online only and they're like it doesn't say that and then we point them to the words and then they start yelling at us like we're an idiot and yeah like you but, suddenly magically put the words on the coupon right. i waved my little magic book. but yeah i i've never i think if i ever had somebody pull a gun i i would wind up getting shot because i'd be like really a dollar <laughs> Really? It's was, worth it to you? Bam! Tara's dead. I got Because I just would be able to be like... I got to put this... So not, I would be so flummoxed by the, by the whole thing. I got to put this on the big screen because the mug shot here. She looks like she honestly doesn't fucking care. She would do the shit again. She would do the same damn fuck. It's like, God damn it. Why are they holding me? All I did was wave a gun at the Walmart people. Jesus. Make a federal case out of it. God. America. If you can't wave a gun at the people at Walmart in America, what have we become? I just, she's 61. So that's like somebody's grandma's age. And she needs to imagine, if you follow me, I got something in my car for you. I got Why something for all. Why store again, though? Want to check her license plate number. Why? Because they wanted to. They want, I guess they wanted to press charges or something. She bumps one of them with a shopping cart. Oh, OK. Hey, yeah, son, Granny's got something for you, you son of a bitch. That's. Yeah, I wonder if she has a concealed carry permit because. It probably costs more than a dollar, too. Uh, uh, Granny's back in heat. Yes, Ronan. Yes, Granny. Stop or my mom will shoot. She might shoot anyway, even if you do stop. Look, she that, that, she got crazy eyes, man. Yeah, she does. She got sad, crazy eyes. She's like anyone who will pull a gun over a dollar <laughs> is probably going to shoot at the slightest probability. It's the principle of the thing. Fuck that. It's a dollar. I guess I, I will give you a dollar. I will give you a dollar. I will pay you a dollar to not shoot me. That's worth it to me. That's a good trade. <laughs> Well, then you I just think I make out pretty well on that deal. I get to live. You get a dollar. Well, then you just there. Then you just encourage them to to every time they need a dollar, they just hold they pull a gun. Hey, oh, God, here we go again. OK, here's your dollar. <laughs> Vince I'm said, still gonna, I'm still going to go with that over getting shot. Vince said, hey, after tax, that's a dollar <laughs> seven. <coughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Not getting shot. I'd buy that for a dollar. So yeah, that I guess that's that's, that's value. <laughs> All Walmart always low prices. Always. <laughs> little, oh my god! Oh my god! It's a perfect crossover because they have that little smiley face and all the signs. <laughs> Just put the little bullet through his through his head like watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having like a coughing fit. <coughs> so I should probably say goodnight now. <coughs> and I guess I guess this this lesson applies to two stories. We learned that we overreact overreact to shit in the most amazing ways in America. <coughs> the most useless ways. Yeah. Be it a coupon or the fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yeah. <sighs> I just eh, eh. It's how do you not know this? They I, I assume that these administrators and police officers are old enough to remember the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Some people just hate fun. Some people just want to watch the fun burn. <laughs> we uh, we learned this week. That yes, you can outrun the police in a minivan, <coughs> which is kind of embarrassing for the police. And then it converts into a flotation device. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry with the coughing. What did you do? It's the leftover from this cold that mm. like I just get these random coughing fits. This one's actually not that bad. Usually I'm hacking for 20 minutes with tears rolling down my face. <coughs> But I just it, I, I gotta admit though, if you can outrun the cops in a minivan, you were kind of badass. 
Because seriously, it's a fucking minivan. I drive. Yeah, they're 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 not really built for speed. They do not book. Um, we learned that um, even we get rid of the basalts, they will find something to ingest to make them fucking. Why would you do these drugs? These do not seem like fun drugs. I can see the appeal of beer. I I have enjoyed a beer now and again. I can see the appeal of drinking. I you have enjoyed a beer now and again. There's an understatement. I can see the appeal. I don't I have never really liked it. But I can see the appeal of marijuana. It makes sense. You know, you get relaxed. I can see the appeal of that. Even cocaine. I, I did that one time and I didn't feel particularly relaxed. Even cocaine. Stopped time and shit. I like it. I can understand wanting to get <coughs> buzzed and ripped on cocaine. I do not understand taking a drug that will make you be naked with a baby in one arm and a hammer in the other. <coughs> it doesn't seem like a fun Friday night to me. What if the hammer is your penis? <coughs> then you still shouldn't have the baby. <coughs> We learned that if you really have to fake your own kidnapping to get some time away from your significant other, just break up. Just break up. Just break up because then you won't go to jail for filing a false fucking report. And when you get out, she's going to be even more pissed. Although you got to wonder, was this guy just that stupid or was she just that bad? Yes. Okay. <laughs> the that two are not mutually exclusive. True. Oh, okay. DA Scott, he kind of wins. I guess that's a good way to one up the faked orgasms. Oof. <laughs> and finally, well, but if he's faking the orgasms, you've kind of already lost, haven't you? And finally tonight, we learned. You get drunk enough, you'll try to fuck anything. That ambulance was asking for it. Did you see that skirt she was wearing? 